Hey there, Yuri here in a new apartment, in a new city, in a new state. Welcome back to my channel. So it has been a minute, obviously, since I have last been on here. And that is because, just like everyone else, 2020 has thrown me for a loop. And not just everything that's going on in the world in terms of, you know, what's happening globally. But in terms of this right here, you see this? This is a surgery scar. I had surgery on my spinal cord, um, very serious surgery. And for most of the official quarantine, I was in a neck brace. So this year has been absolutely crazy. You know, I was running an Airbnb and when this injury happened, it actually happened at work. For the first month, I was like renting hotels while I had Airbnb guests. And then once they were like, no, you need to go to a neurosurgeon because you could become paralyzed. Um, that's when I reached out to Airbnb and they worked with me to cancel my reservations with the guests that were coming and to figure out all that stuff without being penalized for me and to work with those individual people. So I'm so grateful for Airbnb for doing that to me. But like I said, I'm in a new apartment and I'm in a new state. And that is because of what's happening globally. I moved because my lease was gonna be up and Airbnb wasn't really something I wanted to do anymore because I was concerned with having strangers <laughs> come into my house with everything going on. And my job was, I was uncertain if I was gonna have my job or not. So I needed more flexibility. So if you didn't know, I am a flight attendant and I was commuting from Orlando to Atlanta. So now I just moved back to Atlanta. I was living here before. I had moved to Orlando just for the Airbnb opportunity. Anyway, um, so now I am back here in Atlanta in a new place. It's not as snazzy as the old place and that's because I wanted to make sure I moved into something affordable because again, I didn't know what was gonna happen with my job and I'm doing this so I can save money to buy a home, which was the whole reason I started the Airbnb in the first place. So 2020 has thrown me for a loop and um, but I'm back. So I currently am unemployed this month. It's one of the concessions I agreed to take with my job in order to help save other people's jobs. So for the next eight months, I'm working every other month. So it's November, I'm off this month. I'm like, you know what? I really wanna get back into YouTube. I really wanna expand my online business by starting an Etsy shop. And so I'm gonna take you guys on the journey. But first things first, let me go ahead and show you this new apartment. I'm still getting things together. So without further ado, let's go right ahead and jump into this vlog. This is the kitchen. So this place is pretty dated, but like I said, it's affordable and it works for me. So this is the kitchen area. I'm still trying to get all of this stuff organized. I have so much kitchen things. I'll give you a look of like what my cabinets and things look like. I'm still in the process of organizing everything, even though I have been here for a few months. So that's what everything is looking like on that side. This is all like coffee creamer situation going on here. I got those canisters from either Marshalls or TJ Maxx. And then this is the other side. I have dishes in the sink because uh, my dishwasher is clean. I need to empty it. But um, so yeah, there's nothing much going on here in the kitchen. Just working on some organizing and things like that. This is what it looks like down here. Um, and one thing that is halfway done in the kitchen let me not make it dizzy, is my pantry. So I'm still working on this. This is what it looks like right now. These are jars from Ikea. I do wanna label it. And then this is what the inside looks like. I'm really making use of every single inch of space because I love to have a well-stocked pantry. These things over here is where I keep potatoes, onions, and garlic. This is where my recyclables are and this is like back stock in terms of like um, baking supplies, like flour and things like that. Things that I bought in excess when everything first hit and quarantine began, cause I was like, is there gonna be a food shortage? Yes, I was one of those people. All right, so this is the laundry room. Still working on it. Um, still organizing this cart. Still organizing how all of this stuff is. I do have extra storage and stuff up here. So that's that, still a work in progress, but it's functional and so I'm not really worried about this space. Now, let's take you into the living room. Now this space is so awkwardly 
laid out <laughs> which is why the setting of it is a little laid out it's just such an odd space it's really square like which is hard to organize a couch and TV and everything in so this is coming in from the door I have my shoe cabinet here where I keep my keys and all of this stuff my coat rack here this is all stuff from the other place my bench here this used to be in my bedroom so I don't think you guys ever saw this. That's something I need to return to Ikea. This is a mirror that I had that was over my guest hutch in the old place. I'm gonna be hanging that sometime this week. I'm also gonna be hanging this behind the TV sometime this week and that's going in storage. This is my same TV cabinet that I had before. Still working on how I want that all set up. Coffee table, which the movers broke and I have to fix or replace. Same couch. As before same chair as before kind of redid this space a little bit and this area is going to be my desk area and this is going to take a lot of work we're going to do it in two phases some of it in this vlog just because it's so crowded and cluttered I need to make it more functional and then another part in a later vlog um, in terms of my Etsy shop and all of that as I get supplies and things for that so I'll take you on that journey at a different time but this is what it's looking like right now we are going to be organizing it a little better later on this is something I'm currently testing out it's like a blocking calendar schedule this is a printable that I made I will have a link down in the description if you want to get a copy of this free printable as well um, but we'll kind of explore it more in the week but I'm I'm working on time blocking as I hit that and um, right now this is the part we're doing personal tasks because after this we have some errands to do all right, so we're turning around in the living room. This is new. This is a shelf that I got off of Amazon. I'll make sure to link it below. I got it because I just needed more storage in this place. So in all of these baskets, there's, I'm actually storing things. Um, because like I said, there's a lack of storage in here. So I got this shelf and of course I had to decorate it a little bit. Feels a little cluttered. I'm still working on exactly how I want it, but that's how it works for now. And then over here, I got another one. And the reason why I got two is because I thought in my future home, this could be something that could flank a fireplace. And I'd probably regret it if I didn't have two to use on some sort of feature wall. So this is the dining room. You saw how small the kitchen was. So I needed a place to get my microwave because it didn't come with the microwave. So I got this one. It's like a retro fridge. Um, bold choice, but I like it. This is wall wallpaper. This is wrapping paper and stuff. I don't know where this stuff is going to go. It's just there for now. These are boxes where I store extra stationery and things like that. So again, I'm using this as both display and storage and how it's going to look is still a work in progress. All right. Dining room. Big work in progress. I really don't like this combination, but I got these from the dollar store for a dollar and this from Ikea for $2. I, I don't know how I want it yet. I really don't. I've updated this a little bit for fall with some pumpkins and things like that. And this is a big change too. So I will show you guys this later on in the vlog, but this did not come with a place. This is actually a pocket light and I bought this fixture off of Amazon that you screw a light bulb into the pocket light. I'll show you again later in the vlog, but I'll make sure to link it down below. It's actually super cool. And then I got this lampshade from Ikea. This over here is the bar, super crowded. You see, I like to keep it well stocked though. Um, it's just too crowded for me. I'm gonna figure out something with this later on. This is that picture from before that was wrapping paper that I framed for my old place and yeah so that will get updated at some point but i'm not too worried about it now because it's functional this is my outside balcony area i'm so happy to have a little outside space this was a set that i had from my previous place before i moved to florida so i just have that out there right now you see it's a beautiful fall day all right let's take you into the bedroom bedroom i'm still working on um, I don't think I showed you guys my bedroom in the last place, but it's the same bed frame that I had before. These are the nightstands that were from the guest room. I put them in here. My bedding is a little juvenile, so um, I'm still working on having a very adult bedspread and all that kind of stuff. So that will come at some point, sometime this year or next year. That's my capsule wardrobe. This was the hanging rack that was in the guest Airbnb bedroom in my old place. 
This is new. This is a vanity from Ikea. Still working on how I want it to be, but for now, <laughs> I, for now this works. Still organizing all of this. Um, but yeah, it works for now. I like it. I use it. It's very functional. This I also already had. It was from my old place. You never saw it because it was in my bedroom. This is a door to that outside balcony. And then this is from the Airbnb guest bedroom. I'll make sure to link that previous vlog so you can see. So it was this and this mirror. Um, but I did buy another one. This is the Malm dresser from Ikea. Um, so I'm making it look like it's a double dresser, even though it's not. Works well for me. This was also in the guest bedroom of the Airbnb. And right now I'm using it to host different travel necessities and things like that. It's a mess. It's an absolute mess, but I eventually do want to get an actual bench to put here. And then this I will use for luggage because right now I'm using this and you can see all of these things that I have to figure out what to do with or where to hang. These are my Kanban boards that I still need to hang and all of that. We'll get into that in another kind of plan with me vlog. This is my work luggage that I have to unpack and put away since I'm not working this month. And yeah, so let's now go into my closet. Now my closet is big, still a work in progress. Actually, all of this kind of happened this week and I'm sorry I didn't vlog it. These were all things that I've already had. I just reorganized it. So I have these things here. These are from Target. These are $10 from the Made by Design brand. I already had one of these. I did purchase a second one this month. I already had these white baskets. So all of this stuff I already had except for the second one. Um, these were things I already had too. Now I'm just using them to hold purses. And you see all of this stuff that I still need to organize. I put my mirror in here. So this is kind of an overview. Let me see if we can back up so you can see. This is how it looks right now. The only other thing I added that was not in here before that I didn't already own are these two hampers. These are from the Made by Design line from Target as well. These were $15 each. So all of this stuff I already had except for that second hanging thing and these two hampers. Um, but everything else I already had and I'm just kind of reorganizing it. I'm still working on shoe storage. I have more shoes that I need to put here and these I have to put up here you see I have my big ladder here for me to finish organizing everything I'm trying out like this kind of hat ombre thing and I have more hats so this is a work in progress we'll get to this stuff in a different vlog and this brings us to the bathroom all right again super dated but I'm just making it work this is a towel set it looks so orange this is a towel set from the guest Airbnb bathroom these are all things that I already had. I don't know why it looks so orange in here. It's not true to color. Um, and then this is the tub area, which I'm going to close because <laughs> it's a mess. So I just got out the shower. But that's how this whole area looks. And I'm working how on all of that. So anyway, that's the bathroom. And then from the bathroom, we head back out into the dining room area and into the living room. Now the one thing I didn't show you is this kind of makeshift sofa thing. So let me explain what's going on with this. These were dressers for my actual bedroom and this is something I had made before and I decided to repurpose it and make this as kind of like a sofa bench. And the reason why is because I really want to start indoor gardening. So I already had some of these white pots. Um, so I have these here. I have a seed starting kit that I got during during quarantine when I was like, oh, well, I need to make sure I'm prepared for the worst. Y'all just, okay. Anyway, these are things I got from Ikea. I keep my seed collection in here. This is another pot. This is from Target. Um, and so, um, and you see these two lamps. Now these two lamps are just regular lamps from Target, but inside I have grow lights. So these are actual lights to help grow seeds indoors. So at some point I will start my indoor garden for like herbs and things like that. And these are hooked up to timers, which I need to set and all of that. But we'll get into that in another vlog. I think that will be more in 
March when it's springtime again. So that's behind there. It looks super cluttered and everything. Still have to work all that out, but once I start getting like things growing in there, I think it'll look a lot better. So that's my place. A lot of work to be done. We're gonna do some of it in this vlog. All right, so that's what my current place is looking like. I did get a lot done, but for me, there's still a lot more that needs to be done to kind of live up to my to my standards. So we'll get into that in the next few weeks and things like that. But now I actually have to run out. I have some errands to do. Um, I actually have a pickup order at the container store and I have um, to run to Target like I mean because it's Target. But um, so we're going to go ahead and get that. Let's go. to the container store I'm waiting for them to deliver my package here in my car I ordered this maybe like a week and a half ago because there was a sale going on and I also had 15% off so I'll show you guys what I get when I get back home all right guys I'm back home if you can't tell by the lighting it is much 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 later um, when I got home my place was smelling really good because I realized I forgot to blow up these candles. I blew up the ones that were in my bedroom, but I forgot to blow out these candles. But it's evening now, so I'm just gonna keep them burning. Um, but, okay, so I ran some errands, got some things done, went to Sephora to get my thing for the VIB sale. I'll show you that. But I also picked up my to-go order from the container store. So let me show you this big old bag. So this is the bag that I got. I'll do kind of a quick haul. These are some things that I got from Target. These are a dollar each. I have so many of these. I'm gonna use these for more of my office storage, which we'll get to later, not today. So let's do a quick little haul before I lose all the lighting completely. Okay, so this is one of the things that I picked up from the container store. This is a part of their stackers collection. My stackers is in taupe. So I have this eyeglass case that holds all my different eyeglasses. I have a lot of glasses I'm even wearing some glasses right now. Um, so I have that and then this is going to go on the bottom. There is one more piece of stackers that I want that they are currently out of stock on. They've been out of stock forever. Um, but let me show you how this goes. So right now this is kind of big for my liking but um it will work until i'm able to get the last piece that i want all right so i also got these from the container store these are the hyacinth baskets got four of these that i'm going to use for a different organizing project that i will show in another video so this was my container store pickup purchase Alright guys, so that's going to do it for today's video, but I do have an organize with me coming soon showcasing some of the products that I got today plus some additional ones. If you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and I thank you so much for watching. I will be back soon.